In an exciting new series that gives you an inside look at buildings on campus, Ashlyn Azumo takes you inside Notre Dame's newly opened Jordan Hall of Science. Let's take a look. Offering over 200,000 square feet of floor space and created from over 500,000 bricks, Jordan Hall of Science features 40 labs, two 250-seat lecture halls, an observatory, 22 offices, a greenhouse, a museum, and a digital visualization theater. This $70 million building is the university's commitment to academic excellence in the sciences and is the largest building on campus devoted to undergraduate education. The main hall stretches across the length of the building, all four levels can be seen from this hallway, lit with natural light beaming from the floor to ceiling windows. Lining the hallway are informative display cases and three inlaid floor medallions representing physics, biology, and chemistry. The museum, auditorium, planetarium, and some laboratories can all be accessed from the main hallway. The first floor of Jordan Hall features twin auditoriums complete with swivel chairs to allow students to engage in small group discussions, three 21 by 12 foot screens to simultaneously feed different images, fume hoods with video broadcast, and a preparation room in between the two auditoriums to provide a staging area for demonstrations in the following class period. The Digital Visualization Theater boasts the Sony SRX-110, which beams high-resolution images on a 50-foot high dome ceiling, allowing the 136 theater-style seats to lean back and enjoy the 360-degree visual experience. The SkyScan Incorporated software allows students to see images of the nighttime sky anywhere on Earth at any time. The laboratories of Jordan Hall include 223 fume hoods, enough for each student to have their own hood. Each laboratory includes an adjacent data analysis classroom to provide a bridge between learning in the classroom and in the laboratories. The observatory is located on the rooftop of the hall, featuring a number of smaller telescopes that can show objects within the Milky Way galaxy. It also includes a larger telescope contained in its own dome that can show and capture picture and video of near and distant galaxies. We met with building manager Jerry Cappert, who discussed the importance and goals of the Jordan Hall of Science. After being here only a short period of time, um, during the interview process I was taken over to Newland and Stephan and looked over through the facilities there. And I noticed being those are um, probably 50, 60 years old or older, that uh, space is very limited for uh, growth of the class sizes. Um, some of those here and now, like the uh, the uh, early chemistry classes are over 200 in, in size in some of the lecture halls. And uh, I can see that that'd be a difficulty to uh, try and bring that over here or over there if, if for class sizes such that, of that magnitude. This has been your look inside Notre Dame's Jordan Hall of Science. 